guys, I am back in the shop working on the Humvee. I wanted to show you really quick. <clears throat> um, I got the fuse and the relay panel done in the battery box yesterday. I didn't have my phone with me to record it, so I'm just going to show you the end result. I ended up taking just a 10 inch by 10 inch sheet of aluminum plate, uh, bending it up, kind of getting it the way I wanted it. But I'll show you the end result real quick. So first off, here is the uh, 10 inch by 10 inch piece I cut out of this big sheet. I went to Harbor Freight and got me a nice, nice, uh, used sparingly set of shears. And it's literally like cutting uh, paper with scissors. It's really awesome. So the thickness, you know, is just like that. Um, I, I was really happy with those, to be honest All with right. you. So here's the end result. This is just an aluminum plate. It bolts in, I've got it riv nutted into the battery box. Um, it'll nut bolt here. Two fuses, a relay, that's the start for the EFI. Um, I know it's been a long time, don't forget we're running the Holly EFI system, the whole reason we're doing this. So it'll be easy to access the fuses, access the relay, anything I need, then I've got tons more space if I need to add anything else to it. And then I've still got the front uh, battery there for the 12 volt system. So it's coming along. I've got to do, uh, you know, the, I've cut all this off because I'm going to shorten all these wires. They were just so long, which is great because it's from Holly and they expect you to put stuff all over the place, but they gave me plenty of wire to get just right here. So I'm going to put the air box in, run the wires where they need to be, redo them. And then, um, for the most part, the wiring will be done on the Holly system, except the transmission. So let me show you what we got going so on. So this there. is the old turbo 400 and I can't remember the transfer case that was in the Humvees, but, um, the transfer case. So I'm pretty sure that the fluid runs from one to the other. I mean, you can see right there. So whatever metal shavings are in the transmission are now in the transfer case. So that whole thing needs to be rebuilt or flushed out really good. I'm not going to mess with it. I'll end up just selling it. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to set up the new transmission whoop, right there with the new transfer case. And let's take a look at them side by side because they've been in those crates and boxes for over a year. All right. So I got this thing from Maximum Off-Road Transmissions out in California. You can look them up on Google. They build the beefiest Baja type transmissions. It's all uh, billet internals. It's built to the max. The only upgrade I did not do to this transmission is the reed case. Um, so, but everything else is to the max. I don't ever want to have transmission issues. So I bought the really nice one. Um, it's a 4L80. Let me break off some of these clips, get the bag off of it, and let's take a closer look. Okay, guys, there it is. I'm going to tell you, that's heavy. That is a heavy transmission. Um, so I got the adapter plate for the next part. Transmission's out. It's a... Uh, Looks really good. We've got to figure out some of this stuff as far as the cooling lines. If y'all remember, and again, it was over a year ago, but I plumbed cooling lines that ran into the oil cooler of the Humvee, and the oil cooler on the Humvee is humongous. So this thing's going to have tons of nice, cool fluid going through it, so it should last a long time. It's got the sensors. Again, the Holly EFI system I'm running has all the you know, the harness for this transmission and it'll all be controlled by that Holly. So I'm pretty excited about it. Looks good. It, uh, it tested good. This is the logo of that transmission company that I was talking about, but you know, all my fantastic YouTubers, if y'all see something that I don't see comment below, but I mean, it looks really good. And then this adapter plate will just bolt right onto there like so. Oh, sorry. And um, I'll have to measure everything. I think the transfer case, they told me I'm gonna have to cut a little bit off of this, which I'm not looking forward to, but it's kind of uneven. So they may have already cut it for me. I did tell them what, how I was putting it together. So we'll see. We're gonna mock it up a little bit and I'll explain why in a second. This old girl, again, it's a three eight to one. I did not wanna do higher than a four to one because of the portals. But it's a 3.8 to 1 electronic speed control or electronic speed center VSS is already wired on there. I've got the cable shifter kit so I can do front. No, this one I, I had it where it'll be rear wheel drive so it won't be all wheel drive anymore. Or I can do, I think it's just high low. I'll have to look back. Again, it's been over a year since I ordered this freaking thing. 
So I don't think I have it where it's tw like twin stick front rear. It's just two wheel drive, four wheel drive, high and low, and that's it. Kind of like a normal transfer case, just obviously way beefier. So let me get this thing out. I'll put it in line and we'll see how it looks. All right, there it is. The all new drivetrain. It's the old one and the new one. The transfer case is definitely more compact. I don't know if you can see, I mean, the, the, dis oh, the distance from here to there and here to there is way shorter. But let's take a look. So advanced adapters, Atlas transfer case, fixed yokes. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna take a minute and I'm gonna measure the spline depth of the input versus, I've got a ton of spline there. I think I'm gonna have to cut some of that off. But uh, I'll get my caliper out here in a minute and look. But yeah, that's gonna be 4L80, you know, obviously the overdrive, all billet, bomb proof transfer case for the most part. It's just, it's gonna be way better. This was great, you know, in 1991, but this is it. All right, so here's what I've come up with. Got the caliper out. I made some marks. So I measured from this surface to this, the top of the uh, input shaft or the tip of the input shaft. And that is 49 and a half millimeters. I do that just so it's easier with the caliper. 49 and a half millimeters. So what that means is when I have this adapter on like that, that it's gonna hit this face plate or this mounting surface. So that mounting surface will hit this mounting surface. And then there will be 49 and a half millimeters go into the adapter. So I marked that at 49 and a half. That first mark is 49 and a half. So the, the tip of the input should go all the way to this first mark where the silver mark is. Then just to make sure I didn't bottom out, this thing is capable depth wise to go all the way to the second mark. So before it bottoms out, if I'm at that second mark, this in or this uh, output shaft is bottoming out on the input shaft. So I should have that much play inside the transfer case uh, input once everything is together. So I don't think I have to cut this. I think I may have told him you can kind of see how it's a little odd. But I think he cut it for me, the transmission guy. And so um, everything should be fine. I can literally just bolt it together. I'm not going to do that today. But uh, the reason that I have this one still put together is obviously the MP205 is clockable. That's why it has all these uh, stud holes. I can clock that transfer case any way I want it. But what I want to do is put the transmission, the old transmission on a flat surface like it is, put it on some wood blocks and then measure from the ground where that yoke is off the ground. And then all I have to do is put this one on the same amount of wood and clock that. So it should be, in theory, put them together out here on concrete, just get the uh, yokes measured up correctly and then it should just slide up into the Hummer. And I do have to get new drive shafts made, but it should, again, in theory, go together much easier that way. All right, so to recap, I got the, uh, the fuse panel made out of a sheet of aluminum. That's gonna help me just have a place centralized for wiring for the Holly system. And then also I got uh, Transfer case, transmission, and adapter out, laid it out, measured, make sure all that's going to bolt up. Now what I'm going to do, because it's been so long, is I'm going to go through and uh, make a list of everything that still has to be done, like the shifter, fuel lines, um, fuel pressure regulator. There's a lot, guys. I mean, it's. I'm hoping two months I can have it running, uh, realistically, two months of work, because uh, I get up here like once every other week sometimes, and so it just it's a lot harder now. But... I'm gonna get it done. And we're gonna drive this thing back on the road with the new LED headlights, the new Holly fuel injection, everything's new. I cannot wait, it's gonna be awesome.